What is going on guys? We are back here for episode number 15 and believe it or not I'm legit recording this episode right after I just finished episode number 14 So if you did not watch that or watch any other episodes click the i button so you can see playlists for that And just a few other content things that I put there if you want to see but today's episode's a big one This is the dream team We could never make ourselves far into the playoffs we finally won our first playoff game in our third or fourth season. Injury keeps us out for that season. Then, then the rest of the next season. Our future's up in the air. This is our last year on contract under the Bears. Can we do something with the Bears? Can we lead them to the Super Bowl ways that they used to be? Can we lead them to glory? This is the question. We have the team. 96 overall Deshaun Watson. 97 overall Stefan Diggs. 94 overall right now myself. 91 overall Cole Met. 92 overall Allen Robinson the second. Khalil Mack who's like 35 and 90 overall still. His last year, last two years. And then we have Roquan Smith, 92 overall. This team is stacked on offense. We have not shown to be stopped. And with the defense, there's no way that any team is going to put up the same numbers as us. But we're against the Packers. We got the number one seed. They, I think, got the number five seed because they were the best wild card by far. Us two are like the powerhouses right now in the NFC. But they've been able to make the Super Bowls in these years. We have not. Yeah, we have not. They, I, I mean, I've been looking like I haven't been showing you, but these years we're not making the Super Bowls. The Packers have made like two or three Super Bowls. With Aaron Rodgers, I'm pretty sure he's won a second Super Bowl. They now have Jordan Love who's beasting out and being the next big quarterback for them. But this is the game. This is the year. Can we do it? Divisional round. Let's get into it. Here we go. This is our time to shine and prove why we are one of the best to ever do it. It had been a long journey just to get to this point. And with every step, the stakes were raised. The press wanted to gauge your confidence level. Congratulations on making it to the playoffs after a trying season. Looking at the matchups, are we the best in the bracket? We're going to be humble. We can never think of ourselves as the best. Think of ourselves as just another team. Another team, all the other teams have the same goal in mind. Regular season, out of the way. Everything resets. We got to be humble about it. All the teams we're up against have worked equally hard to get here, and it's an honor to compete against them. The question is, can't we get the job done? As I stepped away from the mic, I knew the next time we stepped onto the field would determine whether we kept going or vanished. So I was going through this like early thing. I never actually show you it. I'm not going to show you this um, pregame thing, but let me just say for something real fast. If you do hear any background noise or anything, it is because rain has been going on legit all day. And I'm recording this episode the same time I recorded the last episode, which I said the same thing in the last game. So if you do hear background noise, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try to reduce it as much as I can. But either way, it's a big game. This is what matters. It's the huge rivalry. The Green Bay Packers. No Aaron Rodgers, but they got Jordan Love, Aaron Jones, Devontae Adams, Preston, Zadarius Smith. I mean, they have an insane team. Jair Alexander, probably. It's a big one. But they're against the likes of myself. Deshaun Watson, Cole Metz, Allen Robinson, Khalil Mack, Stephon Diggs, Roquan Smith. Can we get the job done against the Packers? Well... This is the game to do it. Let's move to that conference championship. Let's go. Man, it is so weird playing against the Packers all the time. Because I'm a huge Packers fan in real life. And the Bears, I don't like. I mean, I, I do prefer the Bears, though, over the Vikings and the Lions. But either way, let's put that all aside. This is not the same as real life. But it's still a big game for this series. One of the biggest, if not the biggest game ever. Our goal is to take care of business. 350-plus offensive yards. We've been easily been doing that. But this is one of the best defenses in the league. Considered the best. Look at all those X factors on them. But look at all the X factors on us. We already start with the zone ability because of how insane we are. And on first and ten, we only get one yard. This defense is the best in the league. It's basically the best defense versus the best offense right now. That's basically what this game is. The best defense versus the best, uh, best offense. Two of the best teams in the league, if not the two best. Second and nine, though. Let's see what we can do here on first, second and nine. We're getting that first down. This is what we need to do all game long. If you can't see at the bottom of your screen, New York has made it. Um, they've beaten the Saints. So, I mean, the winner of this will play New York in the NFC Championship. Hopefully, we can be the winner here. But that's not what matters. We need to focus on this game first as we get another carry for just three yards. 
So it does look as if Patrick Mahomes is also out of the playoffs. They went 13-3, and it said, and the Colts have actually knocked out Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. So nice job to them. But either way, second and seven. We got to focus on our game. And uh, I got kind of stuck up there. That, that was my fault. I, th I think. Conference championship, and then it's going to be one of us versus the New York Giants. But we got to get the job done. Stop thinking about the future until we actually get there. It's going to be third and seven. It's a big play. Can we get something going? Deshaun Watson. He is throwing it deep. It's Stefan Diggs. He's open. Touchdown. This is why we are one of the best offenses in the league. Stefan Diggs has done this game after game after game. Fly route. Beat the defender. Packers, you have to put Jair Alexander on him. If you do not put Jair Alexander on uh, Stefan Diggs, you're never going to stop him. But they decide not to put him on him and touchdown. Let's go. This is how we start. Packers did not score. This is our chance. We got to capitalize every single chance. It's not in some regular season game against the Bengals or the Washington football team. This is a playoff game. Every little bit counts. And so we have to capitalize here to take a two possession lead. Third and eight. I'm just going to be blocking here when needed. Let's see what we can do here. Come on. I'm not really doing much. And wide open. Is that Stefan Diggs? I'm pretty sure it is. Let's go. Oh, wait. It's McKee. It's McKee the youngster. I just thought it was Stefan Diggs. I saw eight, so I thought it was Stefan Diggs, but I didn't see the four. So it's McKee. Let's go. First and ten here. What are we going to do? Am I going to keep the run play? Yes, I am. And mid-draw here. We have a chance. We're exploiting the holes. And we're trying to get off people. First down. Moving the chains. First and ten now. Towards the end of this first quarter. Come on. Let's finish strong here in this first quarter. As we get another first down. We keep piling it on. We keep this up. We win. It's simple as that. But it's not that easy. The Packers have a very good defense. And they're showing it right there. They're giving me nothing. Maybe one yard. Beginning of the second quarter now, second and nine. We're going to be running a swing here to the left, basically. We're not the primary target. Across the middle, Stefan Diggs up to the eight-yard line. We're getting closer to that second touchdown. Either way, we got to get something here. Stefan Diggs, you're running the slant. But Deshaun Watson, he finds wide open Met. No one picked up Met. He's wide open. Deshaun Watson finds him, and we get the touchdown. We have taken a huge two-possession lead. We have control of this game. Let's not let it slip. Let's go. The Packers offense getting nothing. Our defense shutting them down. And this is a chance here. Come on. We can take full control of this game and nearly put the game away right now. But we got to execute it. It's easier said than done. First and ten here. Sean Watson going to hand it off to myself. I'm trying to get to the outside, and I can only get two. It's going to be second and eight here. Let's see what we can do. On this play, going to hand it off to me. I find the hole. I keep on going. First down. I can't get past the last part of the secondary, though. We're back in the zone now. We're back in the zone. You know what that means. We can be unstoppable. Let's see what actually happens here on first and 10 across the middle. Finds. Who's 81? Oh, that's Stefan Diggs. Duh. And it's a good amount of yards. My gosh, I can't even think. I, I, I mean, I think Stefan Diggs is 14 usually, but I think he changes his number when he goes to... um bills so that's why it's all like that and either way i'm actually gonna catch it here somehow but unfortunately i still only get one yard come on third and one we gotta get this you can pass it um to stefan Diggs or hand it off to me i'm fighting my way for that first down and i get it so there is only less than a minute here in this game left so not much time sorry not in the game in that half let's see if we can get something here i'm gonna be running to the outside He's gonna throw it to me first down i get out of bounds stopping the clock First and 10, 24 yards away, 40 seconds, that is okay. I'm going to be blocking in the backfield. I don't help too much. Across the middle, Mick Key. You have, to, you have to worry about myself, Diggs, and Robinson. What about Mick Key? He's a beast himself, and we are completely dominating. I mean, if the Packers keep this up, it's easy. They have not scored a single point. They just went on a three and out in 14 seconds. That's it. 14 seconds they went on a 3 and out. And we have a chance here to basically put the game away at this point. Second and 8. Keep pounding the clock here. Keep getting some yards. And I'm into open space up to the 40 yard line. But somehow they're able to catch me. Or are they? Yes they are. But I get all the way up to the 13. My gosh. That secondary of them is super fast. Wow. Well, okay. I'm throwing the ball. I'm all hyped up. Move those chains. 
Just so you know, you can see top left, 254 to 350 yards. We need 96 more yards to get our goal. Let's see if we can do it. First and 10. I'm trying to get to the outside. Oh, walking into the end zone just like that. Oh, it's my first rushing touchdown of this game. And oh my gosh, this Packers team is no match for our offense. We are unstoppable. Okay. I mean, if the Packers aren't going to score, I mean, does it really matter to try at this point? Like, I mean, they're not going to score. Probably miss Aaron Rodgers. Poor Aaron Rodgers. He's like, oh, I want to be back on the field. I could beat them despite me being like 40 years old. Seriously, they actually can't score right now. I'm just going right through people. Oh, this game, this is nothing. No challenge. I mean, who's going to stand in our way? Next would be the Giants and then the Browns or the Colts. Okay, who do the Giants have? Daniel Jones, Saquon. Oh, Saquon Barkley and Daniel Jones. That's what they really have. But we'll see what happens. And I'm just going to keep getting more yards. I'm not going to show you too much unless something big happens because, yeah, that's, that's the game's coming to an end at this point. And there it is. Touchdown number five. I basically just wasted like four minutes on this drive and look there's only two minutes left another touchdown Packers get out of town We're advancing to the conference championship against the Giants. Let's say that and we are unstoppable right now Ah, uh, Yeah, the Packers got seven points uh, The Packers got seven points. Well, we can't get a shutout in the playoffs, but you have to think this right here this performance by us to dominate by this much in the way we did in this game is just insane. We have to be considered the, one of the top Super Bowl contenders. And just so you know, actually, I need to take a timeout here because we need 32 more yards for our game day goal. And I'm going to try to get that here because why not? So all we need is 32 more yards here. Let's see if we can actually do it. And across the middle, number 83. And oh my gosh, this is silly. Okay, seriously, we're the best team in the world. We're the best team in the world. I'm saying it right now. We're the best team in the world. No one's stopping us. The game has come to an end. 42 to 7. We're advancing the conference championship. And who's stopping us? We're getting 50 points, 40 points a game. Our defense is phenomenal right now. Who is going to stop us? Well, the Giants, you better watch out next week because we're coming for you. Oh, it looks like Jordan Love was hurt. Maybe that's why they did so bad. Because Matt Lewis is playing. Where's J Jordan Love? This rookie has to play. Well, uh, that makes sense. Deshaun Watson only passed 10 times and got 9 completions. He got perfect pass rating, 202 and 4 touchdowns. Because I was pounding it. 28 carries, 182 and 2 touchdowns. And on the receiving, and I also got 14. So I got just under 200 scrimmage yards, 196. Let's go. We're through to the next round. So we do have another skill point. Gonna keep upgrading elusive back. And right now, we're at 93 overall, but we have a 2 morale booster boost. And we have 1 temporary boost. So we're up to a 96. Back where we used to be. Well... Well, well, it simulated the conference championship week, and I was like, what are you doing? You're simulating the playoffs, and I thought it was actually going to simulate the playoffs. Well, we did it. We took down the Giants, and we are here against none other than the Cleveland Browns, my hometown team that I'm supposed to like because I live in Cleveland, but no, 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 no. We're coming. This dream team, fulfilling their destiny. It's all come down to this. Can this dream team, that looks like an all-Madden roster on paper, finish the season as Super Bowl champs? It's all come down to this. This is our chance to win our first Super Bowl in our first Super Bowl. Like I said, at the beginning of the season, at the beginning of last episode, episode 14, I mean, I was saying... This is the year we have to do it. We're 27 years old. If we want to fulfill ourselves as one of the best of all time and start winning Super Bowls, time starts now, and this is it. The Super Bowl is underway. We were all nervous before the Super Bowl. I mean, who wouldn't have been, right? <laughs> but I looked at the players around me, and I remembered everything we'd done to make this a reality. I've been talking all season, so I'm going to let Stream Austin take us out this time. What do you want to tell the team? Let's just say, put on a show and win. So we're putting on a show 
and we're gonna win. You know what makes this team special? All year long. We've been win winning game and putting on a show as we do it. One more time, let's give football fans around the world something to talk about. Put our helmets on and head it for the tunnel. Here it is. The Cleveland Browns hit their first Super Bowl appearance ever. First, the Chicago Bears, who really, they've made the Super Bowl, but it's been a decent amount of time. But here it is, Super Bowl 60, Super Bowl LX. Yes, we are already on Super Bowl 60, and this is our first Super Bowl. You can see on the jerseys, it says LX. This is a chance. Cleveland Browns versus Chicago Bears. Deshaun Watson versus Baker Mayfield. I mean, it's a big one. So, yeah. Is that even Baker Mayfield? I don't know. Hard Rock Stadium. We're playing in Miami. It's neutral, obviously. Super Bowl 60. It's, yeah, Super Bowl 60. That's what it is. Could this be the Bears' Super Bowl? Could this be my first Super Bowl? Well, only time will tell. I have no idea who the Bears the Browns quarterback is, but it doesn't matter because this is the beginning of possible big game for my career and our whole team. Can the dream team, we are favorites on paper, but can we actually get it done? Here's the coin toss. The referee's looking at it. We're not a captain. That's fine. Give it to Deshaun Watson, Robinson, and whoever that else is. It's okay. Looks like it's a coin toss. Both teams are clapping. Classic Madden. That is classic Madden for you. Well, looks like both teams are happy with whatever they got. And that referee's clapping. Well, here it is. Denzel Ward. Stefan Diggs. That's going to be a big wide receiver cornerback matchup. Here it is. Our team's getting ready. The Browns are getting ready. Hopkins out there to start this game off. Kicking it off to Spencer Leslie. And this is where it all starts. The kickoff. Once Dustin Hopkins kicks that ball off, Super Bowl 60 is underway. This is the chance. Can the Dream Team put it all together or not? Real quickly, um, our goal this game is to get six plus touchdowns. Like our game day goal for extra experience. That's insane. But we're not going to try to go for that. Yeah, but either way, the Browns did not score on their first drive, and this is our chance. I mean, you can see right there, left-hand side, Dream Team Goats score six-plus offensive touchdowns. I mean, that would be insane, but you know what? Look at this. Myself and Deshaun Watson start with X-Factors this game. They have Miles Garrett. They have Mac Wilson, Doran O'Daniel. They have Denzel Ward. Let's see what happens. First and ten here. First play for us in the Super Bowl. Hey, it's not going to be easy. We only get two. I mean, the Browns didn't score on their opening drive, so hopefully we can capitalize on that. It's going to be second and eight. Deshaun Watson's going to pitch it to me. Looking for the outside. Oh, I find my hole, and this is what I do best. There we go. 19 more yards. I'm going to take the ball as much as I can. I got the ball like 30 yards in the div or 30 times like in the divisional round. I can go the whole game and here we go on the next play. I'm still getting five yards I'll take it five here. I'm not tired. I don't get tired My guy is like perfect when it comes to stamina and another first down keep moving those chains We've rushed the ball four times in this game. Are we changing it up? Yes, we are we're going slants I'm gonna get a break. I'm still on the field but I'm not gonna be rushing it and wide open Allen Robinson first down First and ten here, almost in that red zone. Let's see if we can get it. We're definitely in the red zone now as we keep on pushing closer to that end zone. I mean, I'm not getting tired. I've gotten the ball on the ground every play except one, and there's all green zones, so give the ball to me again, and I'm going to get you that first down. I'm going to be breaking tackles, and I'm up to the five-yard line. First and goal. Beginning of the second quarter. Can we start up the second quarter with something big? And yes, we can. Give me the ball every play, just about, except one play, and I don't get tired. My first rushing touchdown, I'm dancing with it, and that's the way to start the second quarter. We have the lead in the Super Bowl. Okay, the Browns are at the Super Bowl for a reason. They're not just here because they're a random team. They're good. They're going to get something, so they end up getting a touchdown, but I'm going to now return it here. Let's see what I can get to. I'm to like the 30-yard line, and, okay, not the 30, like the 27 better than touchback first and 10 now I got the ball like nine of ten plays last time and they're just gonna keep on giving it to me as I try to go to the outside and I get seven yards 
So currently, if you look at the offensive breakdown, we have done nine rushes, one pass. I've got all nine rushes. The pass went to someone else. We're going to pass it again. I, 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 need a, I need a breather. But either way, across the middle, Stefan Diggs, first down. Make it actually seven on the last play. As we're going to have the last play here before this two-minute warning on second and three. I'm looking to get to the outside here. I do get the first down. I'm looking. I'm breaking tackles. And I am gone. Celebrating into the end zone. Touch down bears 49 yard touchdown my second and we have retaken the lead oh this is brilliant the browns second turnover of the game a chance to take a two possession lead this is what we do best when we have the chance to take a two possession lead we do it and then this is where we pull away this is the time we can pull away from the browns and take this game in our own hands this is where you cannot give us an opportunity but we got to capitalize on that opportunity and we do get a first down so it's gonna be third and ten here we're now passing once again here because we got to and looks like Dorno daniel their linebacker is in the zone which is unfortunate i'm still in the zone i get tripped up so i'm out of this play but Dorno daniel the guy that's in the zone is burned by stefan diggs so now we're going to be passing here once again, just over under 30 seconds to play in this game. I get tripped up again. Wide open is Met. Third touchdown for us in this game. Met has gotten his touchdown. Look at that. He's spiking it on that guy of the, the, oh, Daniel, whatever it is. That's really messed up, Madden. But okay, whatever. Met wide open. It's another touchdown. This is where we can pull away. Beginning of the second half now. We are getting the ball, and this is what I mean. This is our chance to pull away. This is what we do. If you have looked at the game against Washington, if you looked at the game against the Bengals, the Packers, it was a close game until we had that chance to take the two-possession lead. We get the two-possession lead, and we pull away. Can we do it again? Let's see what we can do here. First and ten. Going to hand the ball off to me. I'm still in that zone, and I'm going to get about seven more yards. So I am in the zone here on second and four. We are going to pass the ball because we can be very explosive there. And open across the middle is met. First down. First and ten now. Watson going to hand it off to myself. I have some space to work with, and I'm going to get about eight. Second and two now. Watson handing it off to myself again. Another first down. Let's keep on going. First and ten. Watson handing it off to myself again. Here I go. Can I get something here? It's another first down. Keep giving me that ball. First and ten. Twelve yards away. Can we get the, to the end zone? We're two yards away. I'm telling you, this is how we take over games. You give us a two possession lead and we run away with it. But can we actually run away with it? It's first and goal. Let's see what happens. Watson digs. Touchdown. Bears. Boo. Just like that. Just like that. You cannot compete with us. You cannot compete with this dream team. You cannot compete at all. The Browns, you're just another team that we can destroy. Oh, the Browns, you sure did use a lot of clock and not even score. That's what I mean. It's like so weird every time. It's so close of a game. We get the two possession. We get a lead. The other team turnover. If they had a turnover, we take a two possession lead and then their confidence is just gone. And then we dominate from there. But let's see. Do we add on to this lead? Possibly, because we have all the momentum. This is every game ever that we've ever played. It's just how our team works, and no one can stop us. Another first down, and I'm over 200 yards rushing. Third and one. Can we convert, or will we stall out? The answer is, we will convert. Oh, and I keep going. I keep on going. Oh, my goodness. 259 rushing yards today for myself and we i all of the bears cannot be stopped every game i'm telling you two possession lead we dominate the browns though hey here's a chance onside kick recovered by us that is surely the game over under 40 seconds now third and six la 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 that's nice and everything it doesn't matter because we can just get this first down. Hopefully we don't, but it doesn't matter because with this, all we have to do, let this clock wind down. And there it is. The Chicago Bears Super Bowl 60 champions. We have defeated the Cleveland Browns 35 to 14. This dream team is true. 
we I don't know what our record was in the regular season, but it was like probably minimum 14 and 2. Our team is unstoppable. This might be one of the greatest teams to ever play in the NFL on a season. This might be one of the greatest teams ever, and I am not joking. That is how good this team is. They're showing highlights of the game, and it's just insane. Stefan Diggs here. We have Deshaun Watson. We have Met. And then we have so many other players. We have myself. We have an insane offensive line that blocks like crazy. And I just go keep on going. We have Allen Robinson. We have McKee. We have Roquan Smith. Khalil Mack on the defense. It was just too much for any team to handle. 26 carries, 279 yards, and three touchdowns. Longest is 49. And I, in my first Super Bowl, get Super Bowl MVP as we go on to win the game in Hard Rock Stadium. There it is. We're celebrating. There's Coach Stefan Diggs holding it. Roquan Smith, the two captains. Myself and Deshaun Watson there. It's another Super Bowl for the Chicago Bears. Super Bowl 60, it's in the record books. I'm in the record books. Our team is in the record books as one of the best teams to ever do it. There it is. And with that, the dream team stepped off the field and into football legend. What means more to your legacy? What means more to our legacy, like the players are winning the title, it's the, it's winning the title, obviously. It was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be a part of that group. I'm grateful we were able to cap it off with a Super Bowl title. Well, there it is. We are legacy rank number seven on the list with a Super Bowl to our name. We're 93 overall. And what a way to do it. What a way to do it. I mean, taking a look at that, these past two seasons. Two seasons ago. Wow. It was insane. We had about... We had 20 touchdowns and 1760 yards. And this Super Bowl season. Wow. We had 1800 total yards. 19 touchdowns. What a career I've had. And there it is. We've done it. Our first Super Bowl. We're 93 overall. We're going to push that 99. Our injury's away. We're 28 years old. We still have at least three years ahead of us. We've gotten a Super Bowl to our name. But how much more can we get? Is that the last year with the Bears? Are we leaving? Or are we staying? Are we going to build a dynasty with the Bears? Are we going to go somewhere else for a new challenge to another team where we want to build a dynasty? What are we going to do after this dream team? Well, only time will tell. We got the Super Bowl, and that's what matters. But either way, if you guys are enjoying the series, subscribe if you like the content. Like the video if you liked it, because that is what it's for. Episode number 15. Look at the bottom of your screen. History has been made. Bears win Super Bowl. Finish 19-0. What a dream team this is. But I'll see you guys on that next video. Buh bye bye